on this hump day. And uh, this morning I uh, whipped up a smoothie bowl with some spinach, a third of a frozen uh, banana, a tablespoon of flaxseed meal, a teaspoon of chia seeds, a scoop of the Vitacost rice protein powder, cinnamon, ginger, and a one packet of stevia and a few drops of the strawberry uh, sweet leaf blended with ice and a little fresh cashew milk and then topped with shelled hemp seeds some of that pb fit powder and some of that powdered coconut milk and a few vegan chocolate chips loving those uh good life i think it's a good life one so not mad with how that came out, compensating for the uh, dearth of cauliflower rice. Speaking of which, today is grocery day, so I will be hopefully buzzing through Costco Kroger today for a restock on the produce. And what else can I update you guys on? Oh, I'm really enjoying My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey. Um, it's my... Uh, <clears throat> one of three remaining Audible credits. So I need to use up two of the other Audible credits and then I'm done with Audible. Uh, I'm going to overdrive for free from the library, library Mary. <laughs> but uh, I've got my lunch here and I will check in with you guys at the noon hour. I just applied this Misha safe sunblock to my hands. I'm totally loving this stuff, guys. It smells like really good, but but it's the noon hour, so I'll show you guys my lunch. I made a chia pudding, and um, I put a few tablespoons of some of that quinoa that I got last uh, week in my grocery haul. And I took you guys a suggestion, and I soaked it in advance, and I think that made a huge difference. But, um, so, so I have uh, basically a tablespoon of chia seeds soaked in almond milk with uh, some of that Vitacost pea protein and uh, a little bit of uh, quinoa and some flaxseed meal and then sprinkled on top is just some of the powdered peanut butter, coconut flour, hemp seeds and some of those uh, dark chocolate vegan chips that I'm totally loving some of the powdered coconut and some hemp seeds I think as I said so looks delicious and then I have my supplemental salad here looking like they threw in some variegated greens way to kick it up a notch uh, here at the uh, hospital and uh, this is the app that I think this is the let's see the envy apple that I got <laughs> are you guys envious and of course saltines <laughs> and I'm using my tutti frutti spoon and I'm totally like just channeling fall right here because it's so hot right now. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm in Kroger doing my groceries and look what they got in. Rose hip jam. Except it's like loaded with high fructose corn syrup, but I could totally make this. Um, the label's pretty. This is a German, German lady. She looks like she knows what she's doing. Maybe I better not, uh, question the glucose syrup. <laughs> this is prepared with 45% of the fruit. I wish they had it in a smaller thing so I could do a little taste test. Well, hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery store and funny story, I got back and I parked in the quick short term parking by my um, garage so I could quickly zip in because I really, really had to go to the bathroom. I threw all my stuff down and um, long story short, I come back and I'm getting ready to pull out the camera and I can't find it. I'm like panicked and I thought, please don't tell me Please tell me I did not leave the vlogging camera sitting in the Kroger British food section over by where I was vlogging the rose hip jam. I panicked. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I am gonna have to go back. It's super trafficy. What if it's gone? What if all the whole day's footage is gone? What if my like, you know, I was panicking because I'm usually I'm not usually careless like that. And so I run into my bedroom and lo and behold, Despite having to go to the bathroom, I somehow managed in a off 
switch neuron in my brain to take it upon myself to whip out the vlogging camera from my bag en route to the bathroom and plug it into the charger. I don't know how these things occur. Honestly, it's as if like I have a twin somewhere doing things behind my back. Whew, huge relief. But long story short, everything is okay. I did not leave my vlogging camera over by the rosehip jam. So anyways, let me show you guys what I got at the grocery store. Tell me I did not leave it sitting. I mean, obviously it could happen to anybody at the end of a long day, but I mean, what, what a baddie story. But anyways, making its customary Wednesday appearance, the five pound bag of spinach. <laughs> Some of these guys, this is, first up, this is Costco, by the way. So I'm just gonna pop these in the fridge. Thank God, the uh, rice cauliflower is back in stock at Costco, and this is a very, very fresh uh, bag. So I went ahead and got two, one for the freezer and one for the fridge, in case they are out again. And I also got, of course, celery, because I'm totally loving having this um, in my crock pot cook downs and just a snickety snack on while I'm uh, chopping vegetables is like a chewing water, if you will. From Kroger, I got my two pound bag of carrots as per usual. And then I've been looking for the Italian um, tomato paste and it happens to be on sale this week, the kind that comes in a tube, the, the real concentrated kind. This is really great to have in your cooking arsenal. Um, once you pop, you can just store it in the fridge. And it's so uh, positively European looking here um, in this kind of jazzy tube. So I'm sort of excited for that for a mean $2. And I got uh, five cucumbers this week. So got those for salads. Then I got Fuji apples on sale. I got three of them this week, one for each of my lunches. And of course, what home cook would I uh, go without one of these bad boys, an onion? And my mom gave me some garlic, so I'm good there. I don't need to get any more garlic cubes. I just grocery shopped from my mom's Costco stockpile. <laughs> and I also got five zucchini. And for happy hour, I got my cavita. And then you guys will be really, so last week's grocery haul went up today and you guys have given me some great um, suggestions for some reusable methodology for the bulk bins. Um, but you'll be proud of me. The bags that I used previously, I rinsed out and I took with me this week because I knew I was gonna hit up the bulk bin again. So I just reused the same Ziploc baggies and I got some more walnuts. I know I said last week I was gonna make something with them, but I'll be honest with you, I just ate them straight out of the bag and like that plan went to hey-ho. Um, and then I also restocked my um, uh, hemp, my shelled hemp seeds because I'm finally running low on those. These are a good deal in the bulk bin. Um, hopefully they're not indoctrinated with some sort of uh, carcinogen or something that I'm blindly unaware of, nor do I care about. And I also got some uh, raisins, organ organic Thompson raisins from the bulk bin. So reusing my Ziploc baggies till I come up with a, an alternative. So that's everything I got. And I am gonna put this away and I'll check in with you guys after the gym. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the uh, shower and I wanted to come in with a little update and um, discussion on the uh, tinted uh, mineral sunscreens here. Um, you all know, as I mentioned yesterday, I um, gave Dr. Jart's Disapore BB Cream SPF 30 PA++ Complex Pore Corrector Flawless Cover um, a pretty good uh, run in, run run with this product <laughs> that uh, the kind folks at Beauty Sesh sent me. Um, this is a mineral sunscreen. It also has some chemical filters in it um, and it um, has uh, a tint to it that I would say is uh, probably desirable for lighter skin tones. Um, here we'll just do a little swatching. It's very matte and it's marketed you know to, mat to mask pores or whatever um, but basically my experience with it um, is that it, it just didn't up blend in the, into the skin very well, um, you know, and it, it peeled up throughout the day pretty substantially. I mean, so much so that I just, I didn't find that it worked too well for me. I think like under the eyes it's probably okay, but um, yeah, I just didn't find that it, it blended well at all, okay? Um, this product also contains fragrance and it contains um, 
some chemical filters, like I said, in addition to the mineral um, components of sunscreen. So it has the potential to irritate you in the fact that it's got fragrance in it and it has some chemical filters in it, both of which could potentially be irritating to you or you could develop an allergy to. Um, this does contain iron oxides in it, so if you're somebody with melasma or dark spots and you're trying to protect those, this will get you a little bit of extra coverage for that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, that's sort of my gestalt of, of this guy. Now, this is the, the LTMD UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41 Lightly Tinted that I have always used um, up and is em that I've always used. It is empty. And this is strictly mineral sunscreen. There are no chemical filters in this. There is no fragrance in this. This, I would say, blends well with many different uh, skin pigments. And it also goes um, well with... Um, different skin types as far as like people who are more prone to oiliness and shininess and dry skin. It really just soaks into the skin and um, and is nice in that manner. It um, also contains the iron oxide, so if you're somebody with the dark spots melasma that you're trying to protect, that will get you a little extra bang for your buck. And um, this one, blend, unlike the, um, the Dr. Jarts, this one does not do the pilling up thing. And um, this one, however, as far as like the tint to it, it does blend in really well, but you put it on and honestly, it's not like gonna cover much as far as your dark spots, you know, whereas the Dark Dejarts is more of like, like a, uh, a more designed to hide things. This is not. Um, here, I think we have a little shadow going on here. Sorry about that. Um, this is not, I, just kind of in my impression, but I find that this blends into the skin much more effectively and doesn't do that peeling up thing. Now, the UV Elements one that I recently got um, is uh, marketed as UV Elements. This also contains zinc and titanium dioxide. Um, the percentage differences between the zinc oxide and the titanium dioxide do not matter. And the SPF on here of 41 and 44, that's like, you know, fractions of, of nothingness. Trust me on this one. There's really no difference between these two as far as protection from UV uh, or protection from, from uh, visible light that can contribute to dark spots and light spots. They both contain iron oxide. They both lack fragrance. This one, however, is a little bit darker. And so I think the marketing here, uh, maybe appropriately so, UV elements, they're targeting a demographic who is plagued by dark spots, melasma, and hyperpigmentation. This is what I'm guessing, okay? Because this one is a little bit darker, all right? It offers kind of the same components as the one I was using before. So as far as the pigment though on this one, sorry, as I was saying, I had to go check my phone for a second. Um, this one, as far as the pigment in, in the marketing here, this is targeting people who are more likely plagued by dark spots and hyperpigmentation, Asian skin types, um, Indian, you know, skin types, those skin types, African American. The first time I tried it, I don't think I got it on, you know, I didn't blend it in very well, and I did notice in the editing that there was a little streakiness, but um, we'll see how tonight's vlog, today's vlog looked of my second day wearing it. I think I did a little bit better job, but they're both fantastic, um, and, uh, you know, they both offer really good protection. They both are low irritancy potential. Um, and Dr. Jarts, you know, I think is more of a, of a cosmetic mineral sunscreen in that it's going to, you know, help camouflage things, but in doing so is not so great at blending and has a lot of fragrance in it that you could potentially become allergic to. So um, that's my, my reservation with this one. But um, anyways, I just thought I would update you guys in those regards. I do like this one. You know, it's not a bad sunscreen or anything. It just isn't really working for me, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog today, guys. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!